Reductive amination provides another selective method for amine synthesis. At the beginning of the previous video on the Gabriel synthesis, we saw the problems associated with the synthesis of amines through direct SN2 alkylation. Reductive amination is a second strategy for circumventing undesired overalkylation. It relies upon a weak reducing agent such as sodium cyanoborohydride. Sodium cyanoborohydride is a hydride donor much like sodium borohydride. You may find it useful to review the video on the reduction of aldehydes or ketones with sodium borohydride or lithium aluminum hydride. This will help you to review a bit about hydride donors. However, sodium cyanoborohydride will not reduce aldehydes or ketones like sodium borohydride does. Sodium cyanoborohydride is only capable of reducing an aminium ion, which is the final intermediate in the condensation of an amine with an aldehyde or a ketone. Therefore, in reductive amination, an aldehyde can be condensed with an amine to yield an aminium ion in situ and the aminium ion is then reduced to an amine by sodium cyanoborohydride. Alternatively, a ketone may undergo an analogous reductive amination in which it is first converted to the aminium ion and then reduced in situ by sodium cyanoborohydride to provide the amine. Ammonia primary amines or secondary amines can be used as reactants to prepare primary, secondary, or tertiary amine products, respectively. As we start to examine the mechanism for the transformation, the first part, the condensation between an aldehyde and an amine, is found in the video on amine formation and hydrolysis. The last intermediate in this condensation is the aminium ion. Once formed, the aminium ion is electrophilic enough that it can be attacked by the very mild hydride donor, sodium cyanoborohydride. And this pushes the pi electrons onto nitrogen as a lone pair, providing the amine as the product. Since this generic example utilized a primary amine reactant, the product, which now contains one additional alkyl group, is a secondary amine. In the video on amine formation and hydrolysis, we also saw that ketones can condense with amines to afford aminium ions as the final intermediate in the transformation. These aminium ions can similarly be reduced to amines through the attack of hydride donated from sodium cyanoborohydride. Again, the pi bonding electrons are pushed onto nitrogen to provide the amine product. This generic example also produced a secondary amine because the reactant amine was primary. Notice that in the product, the nitrogen atom is directly bonded to only two other carbons, and that's why it's a secondary amine. However, it is true that the new alkyl group in this product contains branching, since the ketone was the coupling partner. Now let's turn our attention to some specific examples. In the example shown on this slide, cyclohexane carboxaldehyde is condensed with ethylamine and reduced to afford a secondary amine product. The first phase of the mechanism is the condensation of the aldehyde with ethylamine. And during this condensation, the final intermediate, 
prior to imine formation is the aminium ion. The electrophilic aminium ion is reduced by sodium cyanoborohydride to yield the final reductive amination product. Notice that since a primary amine was used as the reactant and a single alkyl group was added during the reaction, the product is a secondary amine. In this next example, acetone and ethyl methylamine undergo reductive amination to generate ethyl isopropyl methylamine. The reaction begins with the condensation of acetone and ethyl methylamine. In the absence of the reducing agent, an enamine would result from this condensation because the nitrogen of the aminium ion has no proton to lose. The aminium ion is the final intermediate in the production of that enamine. In the presence of sodium cyanoborohydride, a hydride is donated to the aminium ion, and the pi bonding electrons are pushed onto nitrogen as a lone pair. This reduction produces the final reaction product, ethyl isopropyl methylamine. This product is a tertiary amine because the reactant amine was secondary and a single alkyl group was added through reductive amination. In summary, reductive amination enables us to selectively synthesize primary, secondary, or tertiary amines. The reaction consists of two mechanistic phases. In the first one, an aldehyde or ketone condenses with an amine to form an aminium ion. And this aminium ion is then reduced by hydride that is donated from sodium cyanoborohydride so as to yield the final product. It is the choice of the starting amine that impacts the level of substitution in the final product. Since one alkyl group is added during reductive amination, the use of ammonia as a reactant provides a primary amine product. On the other hand, a primary amine reactant generates a secondary amine product, and a secondary amine starting material results in a tertiary amine product. The preceding was an excerpt from the book Introductory Organic Reaction Mechanisms, A Color-Coded Approach to Arrow Pushing. If you found this video to be helpful, you may be interested in the complete book, which is available in ebook format from Scribd, in paperback from Amazon, or in paperback at a discounted price from Lulu.